I'm not gonna lie, rainy weather is kind of my look. I think if I put this on my front porch, it'll get stolen. Mm, I don't know. We're putting it out for the video. Mm. I'm not a naughty girl, I'm just a snotty girl. <laughs> and a portion of this video is sponsored by Caseta by Lutron. Hello and welcome back to the Sorry Girls. My name is Kelsey and this is the series Making Home where we have seen the journey of turning this house into my little home. Today is a special episode because we're gonna be decorating for Christmas. Last year, I wasn't able to do this. I haven't been able to do this yet in this house because it wasn't at the stage to be decorated for Christmas. So I am so excited to bring all of my Christmas dreams to life. My, honestly, my Pinterest Christmas dreams to life. So I do not like buying things. I do not like storing things. I do not like having things. So when I came to my Christmas decor, I knew that I didn't want to have to buy items and store items. I didn't want to have decor that I had to store. So we're going to go the natural route. This means natural garlands, things that I hopefully can just compost away at the end of this and I don't have to store them. Here is a mood board of some things that I've been really loving for the holiday season. Just lots of greenery, nothing really too in your face, nothing too fake. I think just if I lived on a farm, I could go outside and pick everything I needed for my Christmas decor. That That's my plan. That's the vibe. Okay, except for a few candles here and there because I love candles. They just, they give off an ambiance, but they're almost not even decor, they're like lighting. Did you ever think about that? So we're gonna be tackling a few different areas in my home. We're gonna be, of course, doing the fireplace, a little bit of the exterior. I'm thinking of jazzing up the front entrance hallway where me and my tenant walk through. And I'm even gonna do a little bit downstairs because I realized that like the only real railing I have in my house, or at least in my unit, is towards the basement. So I'm like, let's just bring Christmas downstairs. Okay, so the first plan is head to the nursery to get some branches or garlands. We're gonna take a look and see what's gonna be the better bang for my buck. Let's go. I have had these containers in my car for way too long because I haven't been back here to the nursery, but they are supposed to take these back and recycle them. Although I'm not seeing the bin, so I'm a little nervous. I'll cry if they aren't gonna take these back. Okay, so the update is the recycling program is done for the season, so I guess I'm hoarding those in my garage. I was trying to decide between a pre-made garland and a DIY garland, but I think I'm gonna go DIY so I can make it the length and fullness that I desire. Okay, so all of these straight bunches are the same price as that bunch. So I think I'm getting a bigger bang for my buck. Let's make some garlands. I have never made garlands before, but my plan is to kind of lay them out in the lengths that I need them and then use some like floral wire or wire to wrap them and hold them together. Okay, my garland is made. I think I sh could just make all of them, but I kind of want to make sure that this works before I continue on with this method. So. Should we go hang this up in the front? Okay. Ah! Also, I'm not I'm not getting up on my roof and putting up Christmas lights. <laughs> <laughs> this is the best option. Okay, so I already have these screws here. My plan is to use these screws with a little piece of wire to then tie this garland and the wire to it. I think these are too cool for this. Okay, looking chic. One down, three and a wreath to go. It's naughty. I'm not a naughty girl, I'm just a snotty girl. <laughs> okay, I think last year I bought a wreath, but I saved the wreath base so that I could use it this year after just buying my own branches. Cause I'm thrifty and smart. So let's go see if we can find it. Go 
going to need this later. Okay, so I have all my clippings here. And I think I'm just gonna kinda like put them in this wreath thing. This bear trap. You guys use bigger stuff instead of smaller stuff? Somehow I ended up on my neighbor's side of the shared driveway, so. Hi neighbors, I hope that's okay. Anyways, this is how my wreath is coming. Not bad for a first time, so I think the key was to use, try to use like long straighter pieces, so like, you know, cut that off of something bigger. And then now I'm just gonna maybe like trim it a bit. Does that make sense? I don't know. Oh no. Kind of small wreath, smaller than I remember, but pretty good for a little, a little quick whip up if you if you know what I mean. Okay, let's hang up all of our garlands and wreath, and then we'll be done for today. I almost forgot. I need to do this wilt proof stuff. This was a friggin' twenty dollars, but I figured it would protect my investment and make sure that all my branches don't just crisp up after a couple days. I have done some research on this, and I've seen like. Maybe you need to soak your garlands so that they don't crisp up. I don't know if that's just if you're having them inside, but I also was talking to the people at the nursery and they said you don't need to do that. So I don't know. If you guys have advice, please let me know in the comments down below. This portion of the video is sponsored by Caseta by Lutron. Okay, before I head out on some exciting adventures today, I wanted to fill you guys in on a little bit of my leaving home routine because I saw some of you asking about it in a recent video. And I'm not sure if you know about this, let me know if you do in the comments down below, but some of it revolves around smart switches. Like what? I know. I feel like LED strips and smart bulbs get all of the hype, but smart switches are actually a crazy affordable and just literal smart solution to having a connected home. So please welcome Caseta, a brand by Lutron, today's sponsor that makes any bulb smart. I think it was my dad who was the first one to tell me about smart switches because I bought this home and I was gonna put a smart bulb in every single light fixture and he was like, and I quote, girl, don't be dumb, just get smart switches, save your money. Because smart bulbs, you know, have their place but they are a little bit more expensive. When a smart switch, you can literally turn any fixture on the switch into smart, including your bathroom fan, which is what I do. <laughs> so like if you have a light fixture with a bunch of light bulbs or pot lights, then a smart switch is 100% the way to go because you're putting the brains behind the switch instead of in the light bulb. What a light bulb moment. And setting up a smart switch is probably a lot easier than you think. It takes only about 15 minutes. You can do it yourself. The smart connectivity is really easy to also set up. And now I can have routines like having my porch light turn on at dusk or having all of my lights turn off when I leave the house. Goodbye. Okay, turning 14 lights off. You can learn more about Caseta at Lutron's website. Thank you again to Caseta by Lutron for sponsoring that portion of the video. 
So today I'm going to run some errands and pick things up for this makeover, um, including going to the Christmas market, which is really exciting. But first up, I need to go to the dry cleaners. When we were doing our laundry room makeover, I was carrying one of the shelves and the stain rubbed off on my wool coat that is vintage from my aunt. So I'm really sad. I'm gonna take it to the dry cleaners and hopefully they can get it out. This is also my mom's vintage coat from the 80s, bomber. We're just all about the vintage coats here. You know what's sad? When you just wanna be in the Christmas Day spirit, but it's not snowing yet. Is that a new restaurant? Check that place out. Oh, that place looks cute. One good thing about Toronto traffic is, you know, when it's going slow, you can just check out all the new stores. Haven't seen that place before. Oh, I like the lights. I wanna grab some ribbon to use on the wreath and as other decor. I was gonna go velvet, but then I saw linen, which I felt resonated more with the natural vibe that I was going for. How can I pretend it's not raining? <laughs> I mean, I'm wearing a raincoat. Look what I found. It's not raining. Shh, shh. It's not very Christmassy weather today, guys. Sad. Although, I'm not gonna lie, rainy weather is kind of my look. What are you doing? You're not wearing. Rain. Not like my outfit. I just like. It's like your vibe. My oh, it's rainy. It's wet, wet. It's wet. Can we take a second to appreciate that we were on Mill Street for a very long time? And the girls behind us got a tequila fight. Point does it get awkward for you? Yeah, like 10 minutes ago. Okay. <laughs> I never got to putting up this upper window garland, so I'm heading out on the roof, and it looks like I have some company today. My neighbors are getting their roof done. Now that I've shown the roofers my skills, my sister is here to grab my old coffee table because I just thrifted a smoked glass 70s number that just opens up and looks so good in my living room. I'm obsessed. Can I blow? Okay. Ah. Hiding the license plate. Yeah, perfect. <laughs> What's the car? Oh. Yo, slow that down. This is a neighborhood. This neighborhood. is school drop off zone. Oh, shit. Okay, have a good day. Good day. Thanks for taking that. Look at it. It's a shame. <laughs> so cute. 
Oh my god, I just realized I meant to not throw out the boxes for this so that I could re-wrap them up, you know? Otherwise this happens. That's insane. Okay. We got another one to do. I wasn't gonna do a garland on here, but everybody always does garlands on railings, and this is the only railing I really have in my whole house. Okay. Well, I'm down here. I really did not know if I was gonna decorate down here, but when I found those stockings the other day, I got an idea. And I think that they would look really cute here. It's like on the little windowsill. Like the fire, like the windowsill is the fireplace. And then also, this is a tree that I used to have in my bedroom as a kid. My mom bought me and my sister one, so we each had like Christmas decor in our bedrooms. And it's sick because it's fiber optic and nostalgic for me, but mostly because it's fiber optic. So basically a light shines and then it goes through all the little fiber optic endings in the base and then the little tree turns color and you can usually do like a multicolor one but right now i have the black and white one in because that's more on my aesthetic you know? this is my only christmas tree i'm gonna have not mad about it honestly though kind of smells kind of musty <laughs> smell like tree <laughs> Campfire, sage, bush, and juniper. It really does sound so good though. <laughs> do you guys ever do this with fake trees? Like if it's kind of up against a wall, you just kind of like pull all of it to the front. <laughs> so it makes it look more full at the front. Hack. Is that a good hack? I don't know, but it's, it's a hack. <gasps> Will it fit in here? I really didn't think it would. Oh, yeah. Okay, ready? Mm -hmm. Is that impressive? Mm hmm. Okay, I have an idea for a tree skirt. I might use like a scarf that I have, which, like, do I want to wear that scarf? Probably. But let me go get it. Honestly, my ex gave me this scarf, so we don't really need to wear it on a day to day basis. <laughs> Honestly, good hack. Cause that plastic base was not cute. Okay, stocking time. I'm stoked. So good. I wanna make mini wreaths for inside the hallway. So I'm using some small metal rings, extra garland greens, cord and bells. So at the thrift store, I got this grab bag of Jingle bells that I want to use as decor. Obviously don't want the details, so I'm gonna try to take those off. Maybe I should've just bought dollar store jingle bells, but you know, I also love to buy things secondhand. Oh my God. What is going on here? <laughs> Honestly, I respect things that are built to last. <laughs> So this really shiny brass was not the look, so I hit it with that rustic mist, which actually turned out even better than I thought. I'm really loving this color on the bells. So they're giving me like reindeer barn vibes. <laughs> so cute. Ah! <laughs> Sorry. It's <laughs> really cute. <laughs> I'm a genius. <laughs> oh. 
Okay, one more wreath, kids. One more wreath. Okay, I think in here, I have more Christmas decor, a bin that was at my parents' house. And if my ice skates aren't in here, I do not know where they are. Oh my God. Classic. Oh, this week we're gonna need. I think if I put this on my front porch, it'll get stolen. Mm, I don't know. We're putting it out for the video. <laughs> Christmas stuff! My family gave me all these vintage um, ornaments. Ironically, I don't have a tree to put them on. <laughs> so my grandma was a crafter. These are literally like eggs. Eggshells that she decorated. It's pretty freaking cool. <laughs> I like the Santa one. And then here's all the the ballerinas. <laughs> They're literally still in an egg carton. <laughs> this is what family does. They're like they feel bad because like they don't want to get rid of it, but at the same time they don't want it. So they're like, oh, we'll like hand it down. We'll give it to you. And it's like. Dude, you just like, you don't want this either. I do want some of these ornaments, but where are these skates though? Maybe they're inside. Okay, let's do some final touches. Sorry, you good? <laughs> <laughs> Crisp and so fresh that Frosty himself would be proud. There's a cheer everywhere for times drawing close when loved ones and friends gather round. It's a feeling of joy in every girl, every boy, knowing Santa soon will be here. It's the time, what a time, the most magical time. Thank you so much for decorating the holidays with me and joining me for a little Christmas spirit. I will say that the indoor garlands got crispier way quicker than I thought they would. I might try soaking them if I were to do this again or just keep up on that misting game. I hope you guys have a fantastic holiday season full of friends and family and just a little bit of magic, which speaking of, I don't think you're ready for next week's video. Miniature magic. 
My weird is gonna show just a little bit, but today we are working on turning a hole in my wall into something cute and miniature and magical. Not me railing my little butcher block. What I did decide to go with is kind of a living room setup that leans a little cottagey. 